Hi, everybody. Uh, I just want to review how to calculate ZT for RLC parallel circuit. All right. So for our example circuit, my source is 20 volt AC at 1 kilohertz. My resistor is 1K, my capacitor is 400 nanofarads, and my inductor is 150 millihenries. So I calculated, we already have R, I calculated XC, which is 1 over 2 pi FC, and I calculated XL, which is 2 pi FL. We know that. So ZR is 1K and the angle is 0. That's the impedance of our resistor. The impedance of our capacitor is 397.89 ohms at an angle of negative 90. The impedance of our inductor is 942 ohms at an angle of 90 degrees, okay? There is no RL here. It's just a perfect inductor. So just like we did in DC resistive circuits in parallel, ZT is going to be the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals, okay? So it's one over the sum of one over R plus one over ZC plus one over L in complex mode. So that gives us here, this is R, ZC, and ZL. So we have the reciprocal of each. We take the sum of those and we have the reciprocal of that. That's not the difficult part. The difficult part is doing it right on your calculator. So one, we make sure our calculator is in complex mode. We make sure I like to work in polar, so I have it in polar, all right? So what I do is I make sure each one of these is enclosed in brackets. So we make sure we take the reciprocal of the entire value, not just the reciprocal of the angle. That's why we need brackets. So bracket 1K, uh, I'll just put an angle of zero, just to be one of the cool kids. Then bracket 397, 0.89, an angle of negative 90, one over, plus bracket 942.48, and an angle of 90, and then one over, let's make sure that I have that. So there I have all my values in, in the reciprocal, I get the sum, okay? And then I want one over that. So answer, one over, and that's what I get. So my ZT in this case is 567.14 ohms at an angle of shift, an angle of negative 55.45 degrees. Okay, that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is I can get all of my branch currents which IR is E over ZR, 20 milliamps at angle of zero. IC is E divided by ZC, that's 50.265 milliamps at an angle of 90 degrees. And IL is 21.22 milliamps at an angle of negative 90 degrees. So that is E over ZR plus E over ZC and E over ZL. So to get IT, I would get the sum of those three together. So if I bust up my calculator again, okay, and I have 20 angle zero, oh, sorry, it should be 20 milli, angle zero, plus 50.265 milli, angle 90, plus 21.22 milli, an angle of negative 90. So I get that 35.265, 35.265 milliamps, an angle of 55.45. There. So if I take that and I say ZT is equal to E over IT, I already have my answer stored in here. So E is 20. So it's 20 divided by the answer. 
I get 567.14. Oh my God, it worked. 567.14, an angle of 55.45, negative 55.45. Okay, so either way, you can calculate it directly or you can calculate it by getting all of your branch curves. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I will post this document along with uh, the video. And good luck.